Have you ever used a tone-up sunscreen? Let me tell you first, I don't want to change my skin tone. I love my skin tone. But they're quite popular in Japan and Korea. So I was interested to know if this will give me a white cast or it will actually do something that I'd like. So let's jump into the video. Let me tell you first why I chose this sunscreen to try out. If you are a Japanese skincare lover, you must have heard the name of Roto Mentalism Company in Japan because it's quite popular in there. Let me tell you something interesting about this company. The Mental Rhythm Company Incorporation is a producer of over-the-counter healthcare items that was established by Albert Alexander Hyde in the USA in 1889. In 1988, it was acquired by Roto Pharmaceutical Company, a Japanese healthcare corporation. And Skin Acquire is a series of Roto Mental Rhythm that specializes in self protection comfortable texture, impurity prevention, consumer-friendly features, and they are so easy to wash without compromising the protection factors. I have loved all the skin equal sunscreens I've tried so far. The Super Moisture Gel sunscreen from this range was my first ever Japanese sunscreen to try. However, I was a bit hesitant to try on this uh, tone up this sunscreen because I'm not keen on changing my skin tone. I want my skin to look like my skin. So I tried to know a bit more about these tone up sunscreens and I got to know that. Tone-up sunscreens are the sunscreens that have additional skin brightening or tone correcting ingredients. These ingredients are typically added to the sunscreen formula to even out the skin tone or just improve overall appearance. They may be marketed as brightening or whitening sunscreens, but it is important to note that these terms do not refer to change your uh, skin color, it's rather just improve the overall appearance of it. And of course, choosing a sunscreen that provides adequate protection against UV rays, regardless of any extra benefit, is important. So as usual, first I looked into the UV filters used in this sunscreen. So this sunscreen contains octinoxate, titanium dioxide, UVNL A+, Dinosaur S. Some of you might have some confusions regarding the SPF testings of Japanese sunscreens because I understand these SPF testing results are not quite available to people like us, ordinary customers or users. However, getting confirmation from experts like Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science or Dr. Dre is really a great assurance. I'll put the video links regarding the SPF testing and review in the description box below. Now for the texture and finishing, I applied in two finger method and reassured the measurement by a quarter teaspoon amount for my whole face. The texture is a bit thick yet moisturizing, spreads out evenly and like any other hybrid sunscreens, you need to take your time to blend it in. However, once you blend the product, it didn't leave any white cast on my skin. What it did was brighten up my skin, leaving a moisturizing yet non-sticky feeling that I loved and also my skin looked kind of dewy. Now, a point to be noted, I have medium light skin tone which is uh, NC35 in MAC, just for your reference. If you have richer skin uh, tone than me, then it might leave a slight white cast for you. When I used it with my CeraVe moisturizing cream, I experienced a bit of bolt up issue, but with other sunscreens, it worked just fine. So this was my review on Skin Aqua Tone Up EVS and Sunscreen. And this one has two versions. This one is the mint version. I'm really, really interested to try on the lavender one. If you want me to try that uh, and share the review with you, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the future videos. Till next time, take care. Bye.